So Devon, we know that finding a job is a full-time job and sometimes it can be stressful. Spending eight or nine hours in front of the computer is not helpful. I tell my clients that have a schedule, two, three hours, spend in front of the computer, network, go out, work out, have a lot of things to do. But still applying for a job can take time, interview, and a lot of them sometimes get rejection. It's, it's a stressful situation. So mm. what tips do you have for job seekers you know, have to have a positive mindset to stay calm and well-being, to take care of themselves first before applying for any job? A couple of things on that, which you just alluded. Number one, it's hard. Let's mm. just own it. It's not going to be easy. Let's not discount it. Let's not pretend that it, the, no, so the frame of reference matters. It's going to be a challenge. Yeah. That aside, we don't necessarily want easy. We just want possible. Yeah. So what does that look like? So I say this. If I say to you and others here listening, do you think you perform better when you feel better? You probably would agree. If I say to you, are you at your best when you feel your best? You probably would agree. Mm -hmm. So what I'm suggesting to you is the best version of you, yeah. your superpower. If you had one, is it when you are in a better place emotionally? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're more creative. Your energy's better. You're smiling. You all of that stuff. Yes. So what I'm suggesting, amongst all the things that you cannot control in that process, the one thing you can control is, is this. Yeah. It's how you show up. So, what do I suggest? following mm -hmm. now when we were little kids we learned something called hygiene yeah right yeah. brush your teeth take a shower you know the drill yeah. hopefully and hopefully you're doing really well at it i bet you are what we didn't learn was something called happiness hygiene yes right you yeah. wouldn't go two or three days without brushing your teeth or shower unless you were camping or something crazy you comb your hair. It's a ritual. There's certain things that you do every single day. Not about work, but because they're good for you. Yeah. I'm going to suggest if you want to be the best version of you, you need to have some happiness hygiene. Some yeah. call it self-care. Yeah. I don't discount it for anybody. Mm -hmm. I start my day with well-being. I fill my cup with it. With me, it's gratitude. I write down three things that I'm grateful for every single day to get my brain to scan and recognize that amongst all the chaos, there's things to be grateful for too. That's my version of a vaccine. What was your gratitude for today, Devin? Well, I had a couple. I had a great talk I did earlier. I'm grateful for the opportunity to spend some time with you and the audience here. That's always, always an opportunity and a pleasure. And I'm grateful that I'm healthy enough and, and afforded the time to go to get a nice workout. I'm excited to go run today because yeah. I get really excited to work out. Thank you for those great tips. And I hope the audience watching or listening will implement some of those happiness in their job search. So again, if you have any other tips in terms of being well, please leave comments below and tune in next time for my final question with Devin.